Have you heard of Acasis? I bet you have, because I cover their stuff on my channel, and I've used it in a bazillion videos. Uh, this was a USB 4 that was sent to me from Acasis. It's a USB 4 enclosure, which means it's very fast. Uh, it can get up to about 3,500 megabytes a second transfer speeds, which is awesome. For, uh, and it's oh, this thing is always linked in my uh, Amazon uh, storefront, which is in the, down below, because I like it. So I found out that this one exists, and I was like, let's get it. Uh, it's same idea. You're going to be an NVMe enclosure here with, you know, all of the same benefits, USB 4 speeds, kind of like a dock of sorts, but also an NVMe. Um, if this is good, I will add it to my uh, Amazon store, which is down below. Uh, in the video description. Those are affiliate links through Amazon, not through Acasis. Uh, I use this literally, like I said, as my daily driver. This is not something that I just review and then it like just goes away. If you watch my videos, you'll see this thing pop up all the time in like so many of my videos. Anytime I'm testing like Thunderbolt, laptops, this is always in the background all the time. So uh, let's, oh yeah, it's got the fan, I forgot. So these also have a fan in them, which is fantastic uh, because I run a Thunderbolt 4, like I said, for video editing for hours and they can get hot. Like, I mean, you have a NVMe in there that's basically reading off 4K files, lots of stuff going on. Uh, your NVMe can be hot, depending on the NVMe especially, some of them can be real spicy. And then you're gonna get heat issues, which will cause throttling issues, which causes performance issues. You will also get potentially degradation of your NVMe over time. So we get two USB-A, which is awesome. So it can, and the 3.1, so they're fast, uh, you'll get several hundred megabytes a second, we'll test it. Uh, you get double display port, which is also amazing. That's very useful for me when I do my tests on laptops. Sometimes they don't, not sometimes, often they don't have any form of video out other than USB-C. That's your port to go into your laptop, right? So that's all awesome. It's like a little mini dock, little Thunderbolt 4 dock, which are usually really expensive, by the way. I'm gonna pause for a second. Look up Thunderbolt 4 docks, just like, I don't know, on Amazon or like on the internet, trust me, just do it and then come back and then weep because they're so expensive. Thunderbolt 4 docks are so expensive. This one wasn't, I mean, it's not cheap. I wouldn't call this exactly cheap. It's not like it's like a $20 thing, but compared to other Thunderbolt docks, it's actually a very low cost. Thunderbolt 4, USB 4, whatever you want to call it. Um, but the other thing that's really sweet about this is it has an NVMe enclosure inside of it. So that's a huge seller for me. Like a dream item for me because it's basically this, which I use for my video editing and it has a little fan and it's just such a little dreamy item here. Okay, so I have an NVMe here. This is uh, SK Hynix something or other. Uh, very, very fast drive. Faster than this can go, obviously. So it does support other size drives. So in front of me, I have a smaller drive, 2242, right? You can put that in there. Uh, I don't remember what that is, 226 something. I've like, never actually seen one of those in real life. But anyways, it'll work. And uh, 2280. Oh, that's the power, that's cool. That's the power connector. So that little thing there touches these nodules there, which gives power to the fan. So don't break that. Yeah. I kind of think it needs power. Oh, it, it immediately worked. Look at that fan. It's moving a lot of air. So the air's going in. That's the intake, right? The air's coming out here. Yeah, it's actually like moving a decent amount of air actually, surprisingly. Okay, so we'll give it a test here. So it is E, which is that one terabyte drive. That's enough. So yeah, Gen 3 speeds, it is what it is, right? Basically, it's USB 4 speeds, exactly as I'd anticipate, and that's good. I wouldn't need it to be any faster. It works perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do is hook up, uh, well, I'll just do the Acasis drive, just to stay on brand. This, it will not run it. This, we're not 4,000 uh, over USB-A. USB doesn't support that speed. So that looks good. 370, we'll let it run through. I mean, basically, you know, I don't need to benchmark all the way through every single thing. This is the drive test. We can see the bandwidth on this here is pretty good. Uh, you know, you can use a SATA SSD on something like this. So if you have just like a generic uh, SATA SSD, something like this, uh, that'll be perfect for that. Speed is the USB-C there. I don't, it doesn't actually say how fast it is, so I don't actually know. Okay, and there we go. The USB-C is actually, in fact, faster, which makes sense. Um, so you're gonna get like legitimately full five, gig uh, five gigabit per second bandwidth. That's perfect. So the USB-A's are gonna do around 300, 350 megabytes a second. These two here. Uh, the USB-C here is going to do around 550 or so, which is quite nice, actually. So, so far, really good, actually. Not even like kind of good, but really good results so far. Uh, yeah, so that's the 
it's doing ultra wide. I don't know what resolution we're gonna get here. Let's close that down. Oh, okay, so it's getting full 4K ultra wide. Um, so that's 4K ultra wide there. Right? That's not normal uh, 1440p. People use 1440p. Wow, it, whoa, it can do the full. Okay, so it is very good. This is very good. Holy smokes, what an amazing dock. I don't think I need to do much more. To be honest, I don't think I need to do anything more. This dock right here is gonna give you Thunderbolt 4, or USB 4, whatever. Uh, internally, you're gonna get the proper speeds, you know, 3,000, 3,500 megabits a second, whatever, perfect. Uh, you get good speeds out of the two USB-A, 350 or so. Your USB-C here gives you about 600 megabytes a second, it's perfect. It has a fan in it to keep your drive cool. It's supporting a 4K ultra-wide screen at 75 hertz. I just don't even have anything else to test. Right? Maybe you can do more. I can't do that. While at the same time doing another 4K screen at 4K. Okay, and here's one other thing to test here. Uh, I was curious, what are the speeds going to be when the NVMe is working and I have so much display? So I have a 4K ultra-wide running at 75 hertz. I have a 4K second screen running at 60 hertz, right? That's a lot of bandwidth. That is a lot of bandwidth over USB 4. Are we going to completely obliterate the bandwidth of the NVMe? Well, no. We're still getting 1,700 megabytes a second, which is above what a, like a 10 gigabit drive would do. It doesn't even work. It doesn't even go that fast. So you're able to support two 4K screens, one being ultra wide and 75 hertz on top of that, and use this at the same time. This thing is amazing, right? Uh, I think this is probably, this is easily the best dock I've ever reviewed. Like, there's just no contest. This might be one of the most interesting products I've reviewed, period. Um, it is an awesome product. Uh, I will make my opinion out there. It is awesome, awesome, awesome. If it implodes in two months, I will update my video description, or I'll just make a whole new video saying, it imploded, and it doesn't work, and it sucks, don't buy it. Um, but I'm going to be using this thing for my video editing on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's just really actually amazing. So, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of this thing. Big fan. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Amazing doc, finally. After years of looking for, like, basically this product, I finally have it.